<laughs> just threw, well Brody changed himself, but I threw Addison in the car in her PJs. It is 9.15 in the morning. I have a doctor's appointment this morning at 9.30 and I've gotta get the kids dropped off at my mother-in-law's. So we are rushing around big time. We left the house a little later than what I wanted. But it is what it is. So we're trying to get there and I'm just gonna drop them off. She's actually gonna hang with them today so I can get some stuff done. But yeah, the main thing is my doctor's appointment. You still can't take kids or anything like that. So that is where we're headed right now. Then my appointment is at 9.30. I've got my glucose test today. So not super excited about that, but we'll see how it goes. Don't get laid back cause you're not that cool. Don't think you're safe and sound walking around breaking rules. I bet your parents are worried sick. That's not as cool as you think, not as cool as you think, yeah. All right, it's 9.31. Just pulled up at my doctor's office, got the kids dropped off. Steven's just pulling up as well. So I'm gonna run in here. I'm only one minute late. And go check on this baby. Okay, I got orange flavor. I have to drink it within five minutes. I'm trying. It's actually not that bad. I just don't like sweet stuff. <laughs> I'm such a wimp, I know. I remember this making me feel really sugar so fast. You have no comments. You don't have anything to say to me, babe. <laughs> He's just staring at me. <laughs> There's head. Cool. That's where you start. I'm measuring the head. Side to side. See this right hand? Yeah. It's kind of where that right eye is. Mm -hmm. But here's mouth. Nose. Here's upper lip. Okay. Here's your eye or the mouth. There's a little yawn right there. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> <laughs> a little yawn. That's crazy. And chin right there. Cute. See the heart working. The heart. Mm -hmm. Eyes here. That's nasal bone, so that's the bridge of the nose mm -hmm. there. So, yeah, that's a pretty good feature right there. Great. That's your baby. So crazy. Each time, how much more, even more you can tell and mm -hmm. see. It's awesome. All right, so let's go this direction because here's spine here. So here's baby's back. I'm tracing that out all the way down to the bottom. This tailbone right here. These are pelvic bones. Mm -hmm. So baby's bottom ends up here. Okay. Back to the chest. Here's heartbeat. Then I'm going to take a cross section of we'll this way so we can see it. Glucose uh, drink. drink. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's kicked in. Mm -hmm. Here's spines. So this is back of a front. So now we're going to measure that. All right, let's average those measurements together. And it says this baby measures 28 weeks. Okay. They're all so a little almost ahead, 27. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Two pounds, 10 ounces. Which means you're growing a big baby. Is it going to be decently big, you think? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> It already is decently good. Okay. okay, just got out of my doctor's appointment. It is 1024 and I'm just sitting in my car for a minute because I have to do my glucose test, like they'll have to take my blood, but I can't do that until 1045 because I finished the drink at 945. So they take, they draw your blood like exactly an hour later. 
So rather than just sitting in the waiting room of like the lab place, I thought I would just like sit in my car for a few minutes. Um, my nail, it's like driving me nuts. My nail is hanging on by a thread. I don't know if y'all can even see this. Ah, it's so gross. I broke my nail, this nail specifically, over the weekend while I was setting up for my cousin's bridal shower. And then my little sister was like, I have nail glue. So she like glued it on for me. Then this one popped off like the next day. So I went and bought nail glue. I just got this little, um, I got it from like Tom Thumb, like just grocery store or whatever. It's the Kiss brand, like Max nail glue. So I'm gonna keep that in my purse all the time since I seem to break nails every single time I get them done. But I've re-glued these two nails like three times because I have not had a chance to get up to the nail salon. Thought I was gonna be able to go last night and then by the time I was like able to break away, it was seven o'clock and the nail salon had already closed. So I'm about, as soon as I get done with this glucose test, I'm gonna go to the nail salon and get my nails done. I'm excited, I'll show you my like inspo of what I'm gonna do today. I think it'll be super cute. This is what I'm thinking. And I painted Addison's nails similar to this the other day. I did like, um, here it is, like white, orange, and pink. So I did that to her nails and toes. So we'll be matching. So I'm gonna get that done today. But I really like wanna re-glue this one on because it's like breaking off because it's bugging me. But I'm like, I'm going in like 30 minutes so I can survive until then. So I'm gonna re-glue it down and make it harder for them to get it off. But anyways, I feel like there's so much to catch you up, guys up on because I have not vlogged this week. I honestly have been dragging. I've been so, so tired and I don't know if that's because I've been extremely, extremely busy with Brody's birthday party and then my cousin's bridal shower, which was beautiful and it was so fun to do. But now that I've got all of that behind me, I feel like now things are like a little bit more relaxed and I just have normal tasks of life to worry about and um, this week my body was just like you need to rest and so every morning like that I've gotten up and I've gotten to work out and then I've gotten home I've just like been exhausted so the kids and I have just played a lot and cuddled on the couch yesterday we watched a movie at like 12 o'clock just kind of had lazy days and it's been really really nice and refreshing so that's why the videos have been a little bit um, sparse this week, but I'll get back on track next week, which I'm excited about. But let me know in the comments, what do you wanna see? I, I was thinking about this a couple days ago and just feeling a little like, ugh, like a little uninspired. There are some things like I'm gonna start working on the boys' room and getting that decorated and bringing you guys along for a lot of that. Um, nest with me videos. I've got lots of stuff I want to do around the house. So I plan to like film a lot of that stuff But let me know in the comments if there's something in particular You enjoy seeing or that you want to see from me and just kind of like inspire me, please Because um, I'm just like, you know, you can only watch me like fold laundry and do the same thing so many days in a row and so trying to like create these vlogs and make it new and exciting and bring you value is always something I'm thinking about so let me know on that. By the way, do you like my little smiley face hat? I am in a total smiley face phase. I, I feel like you guys know that, but I just think it's so cute. It just came in the mail um, from Etsy a couple days ago. I'll leave a link to the shop in the description box below, but I love the fit of it. It's like a trucker hat and it comes in lots of colors, but I loved the black. Since the smiley face is so like loud, I thought it would be cool to have like a black hat and then just wear it with like all black or like whatever just be a little more subtle with everything else but I love it you can't look at it and not be happy you know it just kind of makes you smile which is cool what else oh the doctor's appointment really good that's the main point of me talking for five minutes here I've got some little sonogram pics everything was so good his heartbeat was really really good he's measuring Technically, I'm 26 weeks right now. He's measuring 28, just a, like 28 weeks and two days, I think he said. So he's bigger, he's over two pounds right now. Of course, sonograms can be off one way or the other. But my guess is that he'll probably be close to eight pounds once he's born. So Brody was 8'10", and I had Brody at 41 and a half weeks. And then Addison, we scheduled a C-section. If you don't know all about my birth stories and why I had C-sections and all that, I have those on my channel so you can go back and watch those. But Addison was a scheduled C-section and so I had her at 39 weeks and she was like, 
I have seven six in my head. I'm pretty sure that's what she was. So this baby will probably be somewhere in between the two, he said, because obviously I'm gonna have another scheduled C-section. The baby's not gonna go to 41 and a half weeks like Brody, so he won't be as big as Brody probably, but I would think maybe a little bit bigger than what Addison was. So that'll be interesting to see, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna schedule the C-section for October 5th. So my due date is the 12th, but we can kind of pick any day that we want. And we're just kind of leaning towards the 5th. There's really, it's like a Tuesday. There's really no particular reason other than we just like the sound of October 5th. I think that's just, I don't know. Out of all the days we can pick, I think that's the one we're going with. So everything was really, really good. We could see both hands and his feet and his spine looked great. We got a pretty good shot of his face. We could see his like nose and eyes and lips. We did confirm again, it is most definitely a boy. We're just so excited and glad that everything's good. So I'll go back in four weeks. Typically, I think at this point you would switch to two week appointments, but Everything has been really, really good and smooth. I have really easy pregnancies, which is something I'm super thankful for. And so very, very low risk at this point. So we're gonna do another four week round before I go back for my next appointment. And then we'll start switching to two week appointments. So that is the update there. It is 1032, uh, 1035. So I'll go in about five minutes so that they can draw my blood. And then I'm gonna get on with my day. Just cause you wanted to All right, just got my blood drawn. I told the girl, I was like, I like it. You made it match my smiley face. <laughs> but that wasn't too bad, it was super quick. So just pulled up the nail salon. So I'm gonna go in here and fix these janky nails there. I'm over them. I'm over the blue and I'm sick of them falling off and breaking. So let's go get them fixed. All right, I just got my nails done and I love them. They turned out so good. Let me see, I'll have to flip the camera around to show you. This is like white, this like mauve color, orange, um, light pink, and then like a hot pink. So really like them. And I actually ran into my best friend there. I was like so high maintenance. I walked in and she was getting her nails done. I was like, yay, we can sit by each other and get our nails done. So we did that and then I was like needing five different colors. I'm like probably the most annoying client ever. I was like, no. And then one of them had like glitter in it when he put it on. I was like, ah, I hate glitter. I can't do glitter. So we like changed it to this like kind of like tannish mauvey color and I really like it. But Steven had a lunch today with a guy and um, they ate at this new place that just opened up called Cava. I really wanted to try it. So I, it was right next door to the nail salon. So I just ran over there and grabbed myself lunch. I'll show you what I got when I get inside. I just pulled up at Steven's office. I'm gonna just go in here and eat it and hang out with him for a little bit. But it's basically like a Mediterranean Chipotle. So you just like go through the line and it's like they've got all the stuff and they just build your bowl. But I'm really excited to try it. It looks so good. Okay, so there, that's what they look like. It's not pretty. So like white and then like the nude, orange, light pink, and then like a hot pink. I think it's so freaking cute, I'm obsessed. Okay, here is my bowl, my side of like pita bread. How good does that look? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Yum. Then it's half past two. My lunch was so good. If you have a cava, or is it cava? I don't know how you say it, but if you have one near you, I highly recommend it. It was so good, super clean, and it was actually a good amount of food. So that was really, really good. All right, I just cracked open a little, one of my healthy energy drinks that I drink in the afternoons. I told you guys I've been dragging this week, and they just came out with a new flavor, so I always have a link in the description box below, I say this every day, but you can get 10% off if you use the code LITTLE10. If you wanna try some of these out, I order multiple things, not just energy drinks from this company. But anyways, this is a new flavor and it's a watermelon flavor and it is so good. Usually the only flavor I get is Sour Apple Sniper and this one is great. I just took my first sip, so yum. Now I'm gonna run into Home Goods. So I'm basically 
some, something I'm like starting to really focus on is getting a plan together for the boys room and trying to get their room decorated and sort of redone, revamped. So I've picked out a few things. I kind of have some inspo picks that I've been looking at. So I'm gonna start just like coming to Home Goods um, weekly because you Home Goods is just I mean you know it's kind of one of those places you've just got to come here all the time and just see the new stuff, see what they have because it's sort of hit or miss. So I'm gonna just run in here quickly and just see if they have anything, any good little finds that I could use in their room. Maybe I want to start collecting some things and get their room going over the next month or so. So I'm really excited about that. So let's go shopping. But if you're young Okay, I just got home, but I wanted to show you what I got from Home Goods. So I got this basket, which is super cool. It's kind of got some little legs there. And I thought this would be cool in the boys' room, like to put a bunch of stuffed animals or something. I love like woven baskets and stuff. And I'm keeping Brody's room similar in that. I still keep the black curtains keep black accents. I showed y'all like the black and white photo I bought a few weeks ago at Home Goods for their room. So I'm gonna add in some of this like neutral like wood color and um, it's gonna just be like black and white and then like dark green accents. So that's kind of like the vibe. I've gotta find like a rug and some, some of the main pieces, but um, I think I've already found a crib that I love. And anyways, I thought that would be kind of cool. And then I grabbed these pillows. I got two of them because I thought I could do like one on Brody's bed and then I like a sweater material which is cool um, and it's like a southwest print so I got that and then I got another one just like it to put in the crib with like a little bunny or a stuffed animal or something obviously that'll just be for looks until he starts like sleeping in the crib but I'm not 100% sold on the Southwest print but Brody loves like ranch style stuff and you know we love kind of like country vibes. I'm super into boho and Southwest style, so I, I thought these were pretty cool. So, anyways, that's all I got at Home Goods. By the way, I need to show you guys these. This tank top I'm wearing is an Amazon find. I'm like so out of breath. And it's hard to tell because it's in black. So if I was wearing one of the other colors, you'd be able to see better. It's a ribbed like material and it's a workout tank. It's got a built-in bra. It's a really cute little like Y back you can't see I'm doing a terrible job sorry there you go I do have this linked in my like to know it app but I can relink it in the description box of this video but I literally bought this in black I bought it in olive green I bought it in like the Brit like the neon pink and I bought it in like a merlot color and it is so cute so comfy I sized up to a medium just so it would fit my belly but of course if you're not pregnant you could just get your normal size but I was like having a hard time. Every day that I'd get up to get ready for my workouts, I was like, I have nothing to wear. None of my shirts fit me. So I love these. I got a couple of them on Prime Day and then I loved them so much I bought two more. So anyways, I will definitely link these for you guys, but they're super flattering, super cute, and like seriously, so, so soft and comfy. And I love that I don't have to wear a sports bra, so I don't have to have like another layer on because you're already like restricted in so many areas and hot, it's hot outside. So anyways, like today I'm just super comfy and casual, but, um, but yeah, these tops are bomb. I feel pregnant right now. <laughs> <laughs> what? You can't get comfortable, no. that's like how I am. So I, it's been a little bit since I vlogged, I picked the kids up and, um, or no, I picked Addison up. Steven brought Brody home because he took him to, to jujitsu. But when I walked in the door, Steven said, I didn't know we were redecorating the whole house. And I said, This is not approved. What are we? That's not true. It's not true. I said, What do you mean? <laughs> she got the most guilty look on her face, by the no, way. No, I didn't. I said, You did too. He pointed at the you front hallway. You look like a deer in the headlights. He pointed at the front hallway, and there's a basket that I showed you guys and two pillows, right? And he thought they're for the entryway. They're just like sitting on the front rug. And I was like, I knew the pillows weren't for the Those are for the boys' room. I thought the basket was like for Steven's the Stephen's very opinionated about what goes on, like on Brody or in his room or anything. So I said, those are for the, Listen, that's for the boys' room. And I texted you, I texted you, I texted you when I was at home. I've given you free reign on Addison, but I am 
When I highly was at, opinionated on Brody. That's why Brody always has the coolest jeans, the coolest boots. I always pick him always, great things. The things that matter, I pick. Well, so when I was at Home Goods today, I texted you and I said, I'm buying a couple things for the boys' room. And you I've said, already bought Hunter his first pair of boots. You said, okay. I'm on this stuff. Your channel okay, needs to understand this. That's fine, but listen, you're not you're Hunter, missing the Hunter point. Hunter has had boots since the week we found out he was a boy. You should go get them. I don't, I don't want to get up, but they're really cool. <laughs> okay, handmade Texas boots. Why are you boots. going off on a tangent about boots? Okay, the point is. It's applicable. Applicable. <laughs> it's applicable. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> so, applicable. I text you saying, I'm buying things for the boys' room. And you could have said, send me pics. But you didn't. I was in meetings. Okay, well. So, Making sure we could pay for all this stuff. <laughs> so, when he got home, <sighs> he was like, said that it was so ugly he didn't like any of it he said if you do not start approving things for the boys room i'm going to go to cabela's and outfit the whole room dang straight it the pillows are cool just not for our five and newborn sons it's gonna be black and white and like pops of dark green i'm just thinking camo he said that they His have a name's camo hunter room. That's not why we named him that. And it also, doesn't, I know it's not why, but the point is we need to stay true. Anyways. Also, you said that, that they have a camo room. There's like one camo thing in Brody's room. But then his... You're making I feel me like yawn. you're making me yawn. I, but then like his comforters, like army green, it's kind of like all that theme. I'm changing all of that. Anyways, all I Actually, wanted to come on here... you showed me a quilted army green comforter. I know, but I'm I'm changing what he currently has, but it'll still be olive green. Anyways, I wanted to come on here and tell you guys that Steven is dissing the pillows that I picked. I like and them, the basket. just not for the and boys' the room. I like the basket, just not sure I like it for the boys' room. Listen, oh put that gosh, crap in I Addison's can't. room if you want to, but... A black basket in her room? Just saying, I've never... I already never, showed you how I'm redoing her room when she I has have, the big girl bed, remember? I, have, I sent you that I like video. It. Yeah, I like it. I've never vetoed... Anything you wanted to do in Addison's room. But I have control of the boys' room. But you just don't have the vision. I feel like guys don't get... Guys don't have visions for, like, how things are going to come together. I absolutely and then, have and then, No, visions. you don't, because then once I do things... They're my own visions. He gets weird about certain things, and then I'll do it, and then he'll be like, Oh, wow, that's so cool. You just couldn't visualize it till you saw it, you know? What are you turning on? I'm about to watch a movie. A movie? And you're going to edit. It's like, what time is it right now? I'm about don't to go act edit. like you're surprised. 941. I have been chilling on the couch. Gosh, my arms look big. It's bugging me. I'm getting bigger. Um, I, I've got to go edit and I'm just like procrastinating. I've just been sitting here like winding down, like watching stories and just scrolling. <laughs> just killing time. But I do need to actually go edit. I'm excited to get a video up tomorrow because it's been a while. But I feel like this has been a very chatty vlog, probably because I haven't vlogged in like a week. So I feel like there were so many things I need to talk to you guys about. I got some really good suggestions over on Instagram of some like video ideas and things that y'all want to see. I was reading through some of those just now. So I'm really excited about that. So get excited for upcoming content, fresh new content. I'm like ready to like refocus in and, and get some good stuff going. So thank you guys for watching. I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Why do you keep yawning? Dude, I don't know. We, we just drank cold brew <laughs> at 9.40 at night. I didn't get as much. People as ask me sometimes, how do you have the energy or how do you find the motivation to like caffeine. do all these things? And I just, yeah, I can drink caffeine late and I just- You like, actually, I mean, you don't drink a lot of caffeine. I right don't because I'm pregnant, which is like, I hate limiting my caffeine, but I'm telling you, you just push through. You just force it because you know what? When you've got goals and you've got things you want to do, it doesn't matter if you're tired. Tara Henderson has been saying lately, she saw this quote and it said, if you're tired, do it tired. Just means just do it. You just got to do it no matter what, like no matter how you feel. And that's how I felt like I've been so ultra tired this whole pregnancy. And it's like I edit like almost, not every night, but multiple nights a week, very tired <laughs> till like 1230. Then I wake up. Sometimes I get up early and I edit, then I go and I work out and I come back, I'm with the kids all day. And I don't edit or do anything like work-wise when the kids are awake. So, except for like, obviously if I'm filming, but like I'm not like on my computer doing stuff when they're awake, so. 
and I do it when they're asleep at night and it starts all over again. So that's how I do it and it's tiring sometimes, but just push through. <laughs> I didn't mean to turn this into a motivational thing, but I was just saying like, you know what, whatever it is that you want to accomplish or do, just go for it. And no matter how tired you are or how you feel, you just got to keep pushing through. And, and even for me, like on Instagram or on YouTube or some of the things I'm trying to do, it's grown and it's been way, way slower of a process than what I've, I think your camera's making me on or expected, <laughs> but I will say eventually you're going to get there just by not stopping and just by being consistent, you know, so that's, Sto that's my message. Story of our lives, babe. What? What you just shared. What's the story of our life? Being consistent and not giving up and timeline not looking like maybe you expect, but you it's true. There I feel like nothing in life ever looks like the timing that you expect, but you know what? Just keep going. God's time is in our time. That's right. It's always the best time though. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah. All right. Good night, guys. Don't get laid back, cause you're not that cool.